गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई विजया योर टीचर ऑफ इंग्लिश वेलकम यू ऑल टू ऋषिकुल ऑनलाइन स्कूल सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर इलेवन द प्रपोजल बाय एंटन शेखर फ्रॉम द बुक फर्स्ट फ्लाइट एंड दिस इज मोड्यूल टू so come on let's continue the proposal in our module 1 we read while going on a mission of vital importance it is a usual custom almost all over the world to wear a formal dress so lo mo visit chubuko with the with the express purpose of proposing to his daughter natalia so he wears a formal evening dress and while chubukov asked can you be going anywhere my treasure to this he told that he is not going anywhere that he has just come to meet him and give him some trouble on seeing lomov in his house chubukov is suspicious about the visit He guesses that Lom Lomo has come with the intention of borrowing some money from him. He gives out his mind through a sigh that he is not going to accede to Lomo's request, and he'll not give any money. But when Lomo told that he came to ask for the hand of his daughter Natalia. he became very excited very happy and now what happened next let us read and know lomo how do you do honor natalia natalia you must excuse my apron and neck we are shelling peas for drying why haven't you been here for such a long time sit down won't you have some lunch lomo No thank you I have had some already Natalia then smoke here are the matches the weather is splendid anything all day how much he have you stock just think i felt greedy and had a whole field cut and now i am not at all pleased about it because i am afraid my he may rot i ought to have waited a bit but What's this? Why you are in evening dress? Well, I never are you going to a ball or what? Though I must say you look better. Tell me why are you got up like that? Now while Natalia meets Chubuk Lomo, she asks she asks him for some food, but he denied then she offered him to smoke he also denied then she was pleased to see him in that dress she praised him lomo excited you see owner natalia the fact is i have made up my mind to ask you to hear me out of course you'll be surprised and perhaps even angry but ah uh, now here you can see lomo was natalia's neighbor and she did not expect a formal visit from him she first thought that he was going to a ball and then admired him as he looked better in his evening dress the thought that he had come to propose to her did not cross her mind even once since she did not have any romantic feeling for him so she eventually asked him why he got up like that after exchanging a few pleasantries when lomo is just on the verge of proposing to the girl there crops up a controversy between the two of them regarding the ownership of the piece of land oxen meadows both lomo and natalia claims to be the real owner of the property Initially both of them claim it very politely 
However, soon the argument becomes very heated and they start shouting at each other. Natalia, excuse my interrupting you. You say my oxen meadows? But are they yours? Lomo, yes, mine. Natalia, what are you talking about? Oxen meadows are ours, not yours. Lomo, no, mine, honored Natalia Stepanova. Natalia, well, I knew that before. How do you make that out? Now on this, there was a heated argument between the two. Lomo, how? I am speaking of those oxen meadows which are wedged in between our birch, in between your birch woods and the burnt marsh. Marsh. Natalia, yes, yes, they are ours. Lomo, no, you are mistaken, honored Natalia. They are mine, Natalia. Just think, how long have they been yours? So here you can see how they are arguing with each other on the patty issue of oxen meadows. Thank you for today. We will meet soon in our next module and know what happens next in the story till then bye bye thank you